Now, having a very general overview of what a procedure does, I will dive into the specifics. How does the processor go from one memory location to another and remembered where it left off? The answer requires the discussion of the stack. So the stack is located at the higher addresses like FFFE of a segment. When you push something into the stack, the byte at that address gets replaced with whatever the value you chose and the stack pointer decreases. When you pop something from the stack, you're transferring data from the stack to whatever you want to pop that data to, like a register, and the stack pointer increases. So say, for example, I have that call instruction before, and we're going to break this call instruction down into a bunch of push instructions. So it's a call, and it's um, we're going to call the fill screen routine that I mentioned in the last video. So call fill screen. And let's say that the fill screen, the memory, uh, the address of this fill screen is uh, located at the segment offset address 0FFO, 0B, 0D. Now, this call instruction can be broken down into a push CS instruction, a push CS, and push IP. Um, push, I, push CS and push IP plus plus how many bytes of this instruction takes up. How many bytes does this instruction takes up, which I'll call um, uh, B. How many bytes this instruction takes up. And I emphasize that because when we return from the function, we're not going to call this function again. That'll just lead to like an infinite, uh, infinite loop. We're going to uh, go to the next instruction right after this call. So like in the previous example I gave you, right after we call fill screen, we're going to uh, call um, we're going to call play game. So right after we call the function fill screen, we're going to go to this address, and then right after we've finished with the function, we're going to go to the play game. So we're going to go to the play game instruction over here. So so. Now that we are in our function here, the last thing it would, the last instruction it will hit, the function will hit would be the return instruction, and that return instruction can be broken down into two pop instructions, and that's the um, pop IP and the pop CS because where we want to go back to where we once left off. So we're going to pop whatever is in the IP and this is whatever was left in the IP after the function did whatever it wants to do. So this is what's left from IP and that's going to go there. Uh, I can't draw arrows, I cannot draw arrows. And then it's going to pop whatever is left in the stack to CS and whatever was left into the stack was CS. And then now we're going to go to the play game function over here and then when we execute that we're going to repeat this cycle but this time for the play game function now I'm going to like use a diagram to model how this all goes so let's say before um, before f uh, before we call before the call this is how our, this is how our stack looks like so we have uh, SP right here and that's equal to F F F E that's is our stack pointer right here and now after the call like um, after the call instruction but when we're inside the function so after the call after the call so after the call we're now in the side of the function and what we see happening is that the stack pointer will uh, decrease so now the stack pointer is at equal to um, f f f uh, f f f, f uh, uh, d and then there's d c b a so f f f a and what's below it is our uh, is our CS and IP register the old values so now SP is pointing here and when we did the push instruction we pushed CS first 
we pushed CS first, so CS goes here and the SP decreased, so it went up. So um, I'm going to say the greater addresses are below, so greater. Greater addresses are below, so when we push CS, the stack pointer decreased, so the stack pointer here should be FF, well we started with E, so we FFFC. Now we're going to push IP plus this value into the stack, so uh, um, the old IP plus, uh, uh, plus 8, or plus B, or how many bytes this was, so IP plus um, B. B is a variable, not a hexadecimal number, by the way, so B is how many bytes this instruction took up. So, uh, so now when we do the push instruction, our SP will decrease down to FFFA because this takes up 2 bytes and this takes up 2 bytes as well because we're working with 16-bit register. So we did a push CS and CS is here and now we do a push IP plus how many bytes this took up and this IP is here. So SP first became first is FFV, now then SP becomes FFFC and finally SP becomes FFFA. Now after we're finished with this function, we've done everything, we did all the parameter thing and whatever, we reached a return instruction. Now we're going to, and I broke down the return instruction into pop IP and pop CS. Now we're going to pop whatever is in the stack, which is IP plus 8, into the instruction pointer register. And I'm going to pop whatever is left in the code set in the stack. Now that I've popped it, SP should now be equal to FFFC. Then when I'm going to pop it again, when I'm going to pop whatever is left into the CS register, my SP will be FFFE. So I'm like back where I once, uh, where I once left off. So once I pop that, I'm going to now go into the uh, location of this call, not the not the location of this address of the play game function, but the address of this call right here.